recruiters, um, and that's scamming profiles. Uh, I joined the Army back in 2006, uh, and when social media became a thing, my pictures started getting stolen. And I'm not kidding when I say I get thousands of messages um, over the years, basically talking about how they somebody's been scammed by a fake profile, somebody sent money, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's even gone to the point where people started attacking me like it's my fault. Like I'm the person who should be blamed for all of this, which I don't know. I don't see how that's fair. Or I'll have people hit me up and say, oh, you, sh you should go private or you should, you know, limit the amount of pictures you post. And it's like, why? Why should I limit the number of pictures I post or po put my profile on private? Why? Why? I'm not the one falling for some person in Nigeria that they've never met before or video chatted with and they're sending them money. It's 2023, even burner phones, cheap little plastic phones have the capability to do Skype. So if you're not Skyping with somebody that you're in love with before you're sending them money, then I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Um, so this is the real me. This is my real profile. Big red one underscore 88. It's gonna have straight across the video. So I'm telling you if it's not big red one underscore 88, just like the hashtag, Right across my video, it's a fake. If it's somebody who only has five photos with five followers, it's a fake. If somebody's asking you for money and you've never met them before, if you've never video chatted with them before, it's a fake. I don't know why this is 2023 and I have to explain this to people, but I guess I do. I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, there you go.